Greetings. This is a volcano, an earthquake watch for the 5th through the 10th of April 2014. A significant negative polarity coronal hole formation is rotating into an earth facing position and the mirrored symmetry from this region may indicate a foreshadow for a 7.5 magnitude earthquake during this watch. A small but wide reaching tsunami was generated after the magnitude 8.2 earthquake that struck offshore Tarapaka, Chile on April 1st. Now this was a significant event and it was mentioned in my previous earthquake watch video as to a powerful event occurring across the Pacific Ocean. Now these are attributed to very powerful ionospheric anomalies that have been registered over the last few months and we're currently undergoing a very strong earthquake aftershock series from this event. There are some strong similarities from last year's magnitude 8 earthquake in the Santa Cruz Islands region and this current earthquake swarm offshore Tarapaka, Chile. Both were preceded by six magnitude earthquakes followed up by a much larger event. Now this is also due to the symmetry with the strong ionospheric anomalies which did precede both of these time frames and large earthquakes. Now it is important to note that Sun, Earth and Uranus were in perfect alignment just seven hours after this very large earthquake. Now the reason why I'm talking about planetary alignments is that this watch period coincides with Sun-Earth-Mars alignment and I do expect strong solar activities to be occurring during this time frame. More about this a little later on in the video. We're now focusing our attention on this very large negative polarity coronal hole formation situated in the northern hemisphere of the solar corona and it's currently numbered CH610. Now this negative polarity coronal hole is currently moving into an earth facing position and should become geo effective in two to three days where I'm expecting the possibility of a magnitude 7.5 earthquake to occur at mid to high latitudes here on the earth based on solar symmetry. The magnetic field lines emanating from this region are quite strong and that should mean a shock wave impact in the earth upon the arrival of the high speed solar wind stream exiting this large coronal hole formation and we should see the energetic influences affect the Earth on April 6 into April 8. We're now looking at the latest VSL animated forecast map. Now this data service shows the Earth moving from right to left on this image and it reveals that the energetic components of this coronal hole formation will impact the Earth sometime on April 6. We're now using the SDO composite moving imagery where we see over the last 48 hours a rapid rate of expansion from this coronal hole formation which is indicative of a very strong earthquake potential felt here on the earth possibly the 7.5 magnitude based on this movement alone. Now there are two components within this coronal hole that have caught my attention and I will be focusing on these and I'll be plotting and mapping these regions right now. As mentioned there are two regions within this coronal hole formation that have caught my attention and will be the main focus for this watch, especially 17 to 25 degrees north latitude and I'm expecting a possibility of a magnitude 7.5 earthquake during this watch period from this zone. Now the second component or a much weaker component that has opened up over the last 12 hours could coincide with a strong earthquake in and around the Mediterranean and that's situated from 35 to 38 degrees north latitude and this will be in focus towards the end of this watch April 9 and April 10. We're now going to attempt to plot and map this large coronal hole formation to the earth with solar symmetry and my main area for concern will be for the Philippine plate region. This is due to some very strong planetary geometry and harmonics which does indicate a very strong earthquake potential could be possible during this watch in and around this region with the main focus of attention being Taiwan or the Ryukyu Islands or across on the eastern side of the Philippine plate and that'll be the Mariana Islands or also the Volcano Islands regions. Now looking at the rear quadrant of this coronal hole formation and that is mapped from April 9 into April 10 which could see an earthquake 6.2 to 6.5 magnitude occurring in and around the Mediterranean region or more specifically the regions of Greece or Western Turkey would be most at risk for a potentially very shallow earthquake and could be quite dangerous. Now my final area for concern during this watch is for a strong earthquake in and around the Azores Islands Portugal region. This is definitely worth watching and keeping a close note of. Now there are a few volcanoes in the region that could become activated due to a series of geodetic and harmonic planetary crossings which are a concern with my main focus being the El Hierro in the Canary Islands and also the Pica volcano in the Azores. So this is definitely worth watching as the volcanoes in and around the North Atlantic Ocean could become active over the next few weeks.
That is worth noting that a very large halo coronal mass ejection has been released from the Sun immediately following an M6.5 class solar flare, a long duration event yesterday. Now the components of this halo coronal mass ejection are expected to impact the Earth's magnetic field early April 5th. Now this could coincide with a strong seismic event based on the bow shock on the Earth's magnetic field or we may need to wait a few days for solar winds to subside. And this could mean that the strong earthquakes could be April 5 or April 7. And I'm expecting strong events to be occurring during this earthquake watch window. And wrapping up the video with another forecast, this time for solar activity, where April 6 and 7, I'm expecting the possibility of a high-end M-class or even an X-class solar flare to be occurring from active regions 12027 or 12026. Now both of these regions will be just moving through an Earth-facing position, which will be a dangerous position as coronal mass ejections will be headed Earth's way if this is the case. Now I'm expecting this to occur prior to the Mars-Earth-Sun alignment which takes place on April 8. So I'm expecting the X-class solar flare forecast to occur on April 6. And that's my volcano, an earthquake watch, issued on the 3rd of April 2014. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers and also a new solarwatch.net newsletter. Annotations and results of this watch will be added at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.